All right, good evening, YouTube fans. High and low, up and down, all around. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this video. I just wanted to take a minute, get on here real quick, talk about common courtesy. How common courtesy ain't common no more. But if you text my phone for me to come do a tow for you at 5.30 in the afternoon on a Saturday and you offer me in that text message $280 to take a car from Savannah to Charleston, you want to be nice and you even offer for me to use your car trailer even though I have two. You know, I've done several toes for you in the past. You text my phone at 530 in the afternoon. Offering me $280. That should be a guaranteed tow. I shouldn't drive 33 miles to pick up the trailer. And then drive another six, seven miles to go to the car just to find out there's no key to this rental car the idiot arab owner already turned the key back in to the rental car company once the battery died you should know all this information before you come text text my phone offering me 280 dollars to come get this car when i live 35 to 40 miles away from the trailer and the pickup of the car that should not happen. This should be a guaranteed tow. If you're if you, too lazy to tow this car yourself, you want to sub it out to me at 5.30 in the afternoon on a Saturday. My opinion, you owe me two, $280, whether that car gets towed or not, when I travel that far to come do a tow for you. You own a tow company. You know you should know this is a guaranteed tow. You text my phone to come do it for you because you're too fucking lazy to. You owe me $280 for wasting my time at 5.30 on a Saturday. It would be common courtesy to give me half of that price. Once the car, once the tow gets canceled because you find out there's no key, you wait until I get all the way there after traveling 35 miles. It would be common courtesy to give me half of 280 Especially since you've known me for over 10 years. Uh, anybody in the comment section that don't agree with me, you're a piece of shit too. Just like the piece of shit that screwed me over. Anyway, the Bible says don't return evil to evil. Let Jehovah take care of it. So that's what you got to do. You just got to stay calm and let Jehovah take care of piece of shit people like that that don't have no common courtesy. Wants to make me come back to his piece of shit tow lot with the piece of shit garage that he rents out. And sit there and make me wait seven more hours. All the way till one in the morning, helping him take out a gas tank to put a new fuel pump in it on a 2016 Toyota SUV. Then sends his baby mama to get the fuel pump, the auto parts, at nine o'clock at night, right before they close. She comes back with the wrong fuel pump. Then tries to screw the customer over. Telling the customer he can just hot wire the old fuel pump to make it work. Spend another three hours doing that. That ends up not working. Customer has to get a hotel. Wait in the morning. To get another fuel pump, the right fuel pump, 
that he should have went and got himself in the first place. Make me stick around for all that just to get $80 out of you. Only give me $80. Everyone that's ever worked for him has quit. He can't keep no workers, no helpers because he don't pay him enough. It should be common courtesy. That should have been a guaranteed tow. You owe me $280, just like the text message said. Whether that call gets canceled or not, make me travel 35 miles for a call to get canceled because there's no key. You should know this information that there is a key or not before texting me at 5.30 on a Saturday. But you're an idiot and common courtesy ain't common no more. Anybody in the comment section that watches this video don't agree with me, you're a piece of shit too. <laughs> oh man. But hey, it feels better to get this off my chest. Maybe it'll get a million views and uh, this video will be the reason I'm a YouTube star. That's right. Hell yeah. Then, uh, you know, that, that, that the whole situation will be worth it then. Shit. Otherwise, this video just helps me deal with the uh, stupidity I had to go through and not get paid for the 35 miles I had to travel to come do a tow because you were too lazy. <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, it makes me a better man. That's right. It makes you the piece of shit. <laughs> I love it. How you love that? I love it. <laughs> oh, man. What a fucking idiot. Don't ask the customer if there's a key before you do uh, tell someone to come do a tow for you. Just make 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 me come 35 miles all the way there to find out there's no key. Pop the hood, put the jump box, put the jump box on on the engine bay. You ready to jump it? Open the door, look for a key. Where's the key, Bob? On this 2021 Honda Civic. Look around, it's not in the car. Call the customer. Customer tells me in his Arab red dot forehead gas station voice asks, oh, I returned the key to the rental company. What? How the fuck do you expect me to tow a car when there's no key, you fucking idiot? All this should have been established from the owner of the tow company that subbed out the work to me. That was too lazy to do it himself. <laughs> All this should have been established if there's a key or not before contacting me to come do it. But you're an idiot and it wasn't done. So I'll make a YouTube video on it. That's right. <laughs> That's okay. I'll become rich and famous with a YouTube video on your stupidity. I love it. <laughs> All right now. Anybody else, have a good day. Enjoy your day. Hope you enjoyed the content. I'm sure there's going to be much more content coming soon, just like it. Because there's a bunch of idiots in this world that don't have common courtesy no more. Common courtesy ain't common no more. Be on the lookout for the next honest video. <laughs> you love that. Signing out with a pit bull. Signing out. She says bye-bye. Cinderella, she's a pit bull. She's still a baby. That's right. She says bye-bye. Signing out. Bye-bye.